Alrighty family, it's time for the weekly recap. This is the portion of the video where I tell you guys the highs and lows of last week and the strategy that I'm taking into next week. But first, we've got laundry that we've been procrastinating on. Okay, technically the week is not over when I'm recording this, so we're not too far behind, but let's do the weekly recap while I fold some clothes because I believe in habit stacking. And if I'm gonna do one thing, I believe I can also do something that doesn't require as much energy like folding clothes. So y'all, this was a good week, okay? This was one of those weeks where you plan, you execute, and it just, it just comes together. So one of the highs for this week was I finally got to do my monthly recess. So you guys have seen a lot of that in the video so far, but this is where I really take the time to prep for the month. And I go through all of like my analytics. I see what's working well in business, what's working well in my personal life, and then also what's not working so well and some things I need to adjust. And so I feel like I finally got a good grip on my routine. And so now it's about making those small micro changes that I can constantly improve. So it felt so good to get all of that out of my brain and on paper and really it's a chance for me to align what I'm currently doing with my overall goals that I set in the beginning of the year. I think a lot of times we set goals and one of the reasons why we don't achieve them is because they are out of sight, out of mind. And we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day that we're not making sure that our day-to-day -day efforts are contributing to our overall goal. So that is why I do the monthly reset. Plus it just helps me get done a lot of those things that can kind of fall to the wayside throughout the week. Now, Another high for this week was I finally started working out. I am so excited. I have a plan. I know what I'm doing now. And I'll talk a little bit more about that um, over the next few weeks. But it just feels so good. And overall, I'm just happy. I feel like I haven't been happy in a while. Like I've been really, really hard on myself and just pushing myself. And I'm grateful because I'm seeing the fruits of my efforts. But there was just, you know, a season in my life where I just was like not happy with where I am in life. And I remember God gave me a message and I had sent this out in my newsletter where it was basically a word that the Lord gave me for people who were in their waiting season. And it was basically to bloom where you're planted. And that means to just make the most of where you are right now, knowing that the Lord will ultimately fulfill his promises. And I feel like I really took that word to heart and I feel like I'm actually content, right? I'm not settling for where I am, but I'm content and I'm maximizing my current season. And it just feels really good. It feels really good. I feel at peace and I'm excited about it. So yeah, that's the highs from last week. Now the lows, hmm. I really have to think about this because this week went really well. So I would honestly say I don't feel like I have a lot of lows. I will say that when I was doing my monthly reset, especially like the brainstorming and the reviewing all the analytics, it was a little overwhelming um, because a lot of that information had been sitting in my head. And even though I do the empty out session weekly, this is more of like a high level overview of those things that kind of got pushed to the back burner. And I realized like, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is taking a little bit out of me. So that was fine though. I feel like it, it was necessary and well needed. Um, but yeah, so the strategy that I'm taking into next week is everything that I put into plan um, this week. So I'll maybe do a separate video about the new systems that I'm using, um, some habits that I have been incorporating that have been helping me to be consistent and really hit my goals. So I'll walk through that in a separate video, but basically a summary of the strategy that I'm taking into next week is I sat with the Lord and I asked him like, you know, what time do I need to be waking up in, for this particular season? And so we set it on 6 a.m. So I'm gonna be waking up around 6 a.m., heading to the bed around 10 p.m. and kind of winding down between 9 and 9.30 with no social media, just like setting the atmosphere for a peaceful sleep. So that's one of the things that's gonna help regulate my circadian rhythm. And I'm excited about that because last month my sleep schedule was all over the place. 
um so yeah so more in depth about the systems and the tools and things because i feel like you guys are going to want me to walk through that and i can't wait to show you some of the things that i'm updating um because they are working so well and i'm so excited so so yeah this pretty much wraps up the weekly recap i'm getting ready to go grocery shopping and do my toiletries and probably clean out my car just a lot of those errands that i need to run and then i will see you guys there Can we get into the skin for a minute, okay? My skin has come a long way. I'm so excited. But anyway, we just finished up at Wegmans. I'm gonna go home, unstock all of these things, and then clean my fridge, clean my bathroom, and charge the pass out. That's why we have our charged lemonade. I know I told y'all I was taking a break, but I needed one today, so don't judge me, judge your mama. And I gotta fold them clothes. Y'all know how the laundry be. I'm not excited to fold those clothes, but hopefully somebody dropped a new vlog that I can watch while I do that. But then my sister has a show tonight, so we'll be doing that. And 